Hi, everyone. Bit of discussion around the current energies and the messages that are coming in related to these energies collectively. What are we thinking and where are we going? Well, it is a hodgepodge of very different, quickly moving energies up and down, back and forth, all around, uh, near impossible to nail down from one minute to the next. That is what it feels like. Mercury retrograde is upon us. Personally, highly affected with a lot of very strong Mercury placements. So um, very difficult to do um, these videos. So my apologies if I'm all over the place, but this is how my mind works. <laughs> Very, very, very quickly, I articulate what I'm feeling. And what I'm feeling is, uh, the first word is momentum. It is fascinating and wonderful to see so many people uh, coming on board with their own voice, with their own words, with their uh, their take on understanding what's happening on awakening on all different aspects as we all start to really stand in our knowledge of our own power and our own gifts and our own skills and this quite often happens naturally without a lot of thought it's just what we gravitate to so that's pretty cool and of course momentum about ourselves really about coming into favor with forgiving uh, ourselves and coming back to uh, true power of going with the flow and trusting the process because we know that we are very powerful uh, creators every single day um, and we are able to forgive uh, the people uh, or the mistakes, quote unquote, of our past, which were really simply lessons as difficult, whoo, as difficult as they have been. It uh, is just something we we have can now look back on and have learned from. So this is a very big energy momentum and understanding and communicating ourselves and releasing uh, wow. And, and the reason that is so important and so powerful is because when we release and purge, which we're going to be experiencing uh, a bit more of that coming up, when we um, release and purge, it gives us more room, more space for uh, new insights, understandings, as we are able to connect with uh, a higher sense of intelligence that exists and connected through and to us. So that is really important because those are the clues to uh, moving forward and being a, a creator in this universe as opposed to being uh, someone who requires uh, somebody else to tell them um, specifically what is right and what is wrong so we're moving into of course the age of, Asqu uh, of Aquarius uh, big air energy higher intelligence understanding within ourselves what we are really able to tap into intelligence wise and this is increasing in a lot of people um, and uh, truly being able to uh, use these gifts so this is all so so very Awesome. Now, uh, the downside to some of what's happening is it, 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 we can be, go down into a bit of a, of a spiral as we're doing this purging. And that's hard. Uh, even after a lot of years of going through this process, uh, especially if we're empathic, we can pick up on this collectively. And if you do it long enough, <laughs> it becomes sort of a more of an energy that's managed as opposed to something um, other than that. So we have to be, again, um, thinking in terms of what we've learned here. But that can be hard as we are purging, continuing to purge at such a quick rate and fast level. And collectively, to really remove all of the old 
um, shedding all of the old so that we can uncover the new, the truth, and um, creating with a much more uh, positive spin. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, momentum big time. We're, we're feeling this. We have to stay positive. Um, we know our roles behind the scenes here. This doesn't, this isn't, this is not really a media game. This is our own understanding that we share, um, that we don't, we just know, we just know collectively who we are and what we're doing here. So um, never forget that part of it because that is, to me, so super important as we are all connected here. So wonderful. So, so very wonderful. So the shifts are big. Um, I have a lot of big incoming energies behind the scenes, which are driving a lot of this rapid, rapid change as we're feeling, wow, so much um, solar power coming through. Uh, the sun is always uh, playing a very active role, sometimes more than others, in uh, the energies that we're feeling. The planet alignments are quite unbelievable. The next two weeks are going to be very power-packed emotional. So this is going to be a time... Uh, in the next little while where we're really going to want to keep a very open, non-constructive um, attitude about things, uh, let things happen and let them be and, and lose the, um, the control side of understanding what is happening here because that is the only way you can relax is just to know and trust. If, we've, if we're staying true to mastering our skills, so important to uh, apply this knowledge so that's the that's the next thing is applying the knowledge applying so we can read stuff over a million times but it's actually taken taking applying sometimes three very simple concepts into your day and making that your effort and it's a lot harder than it sounds because we're reworking our neurological networks and it takes work to jump out of that um, conditioned patterning. So when we are working on applying, it means in the everyday world, it means practicing um, these skills with people in your life currently. So this is one of the challenges for this coming year also is to integrate uh, these things we've learned to really kind of go back to some of the lessons, some of the really prudent learnings that have come forward to you and ask yourself if you are truly applying and mastering those things which have the ability to truly change if you truly want movement forward to truly change the path you are on. So very, very important. Uh, um, another key thing, um, most definitely, uh, a little bit of self-discipline sprinkled in there, a lot of self-discipline sprinkled in there. That ties in with my last comment because we really, really need to have self-discipline when it comes to breaking these old programs and patterns. Every single day it is self-discipline. Somebody asked me how you do it. It's just to recognize that it's happening. Uh, remind yourself this is not something that you're choosing. And then decide to change uh, the path that your thought process is on. And this takes uh, effort every single day in order to, to shift past it. So a lot of self-discipline is required. And uh, to layer onto that, because this isn't a one-sided process that you can 
you know, document. This is just an ongoing conglomerate of various different energy patterns happening um, within us as we go through all of this. Kind of fascinating, really. But we have another very dominant piece of us, which is um, truly understanding peace. Peace within ourselves. This is what our society is missing. There's so much uh, activity flashing screens and distractions and um, unbelievable how quickly, you know, this to keep you distracted and to not allow us to be truly coming back to our true sense of self in silence. It's it's actually it takes getting used to. Um, But doing that has a lot has a big, very, very very big impact in where we can learn so much more about ourselves so just a few things there i mean really big all over the place energies um mercury retrograde is taking us more we're we're actually just at this point moving into um relaxing through some of this stuff because over analytical trying to figure it all out does not work we can get gain insights into ourselves but trying to analyze what is happening to the nth degree actually goes against what the process is itself which is the unknown that which can't be described um, can't be truly understood by the ego mind it is um, it, it's it's you know an ancient ancient a uh, type of understanding and energy. You know, there's so much on, honestly, there's so much to talk about. But, you know, we're coming into truly, truly having the ability to make a big impact and big change here simply by doing this work, by recognizing our own consciousness and where we can work to improve ourselves yes it is a lot of stuff going on keep your wits about you guys here because it is definitely and always is as i always say a wild ride that is for sure for sure i think one thing for sure no matter what we've all been through or are going through there is a very special calling here and we know that is true This is why we stay engaged in this and continue to forge forward with our own personal missions. Um, And that is so incredibly powerful and so incredibly appreciated. Um, And this is what it is really, really all about. So thank you very much, guys, for listening. It's it's a good one. Take care and we'll talk soon. Bye.